The virus is out of control. Uh, the NHS is at risk of being overwhelmed. Uh, what I mean by that is that we're at risk of the NHS uh, hospitals uh, running out of beds over the course of the next couple of weeks if the virus continues to spread and people continue to be hospitalised. We have a situation in London where the numbers of patients in our hospitals with COVID is 35% more now than it was during the peak in spring, yet the restrictions in London are less serious now than they were in spring. So we've seen a 30% increase in general and acute admissions uh, over the course of uh, the last week. And we've seen a 47% increase of those who require a, a ventilator. Think about ICUs or high dependency uh, units. And the good news is uh, we've made huge progress uh, since spring in relation to treating COVID patients. But with this new strain now, we're seeing younger Londoners being hospitalised and having to receive ventilator care. What we can't do overnight is uh, invent new doctors, new nurses, new health workers, new porters, new cleaners, new engineers. It's the same number of staff working incredibly hard. And I'll say this, I speak to NHS staff on a daily basis, often more than once a day. They're stressed, they're strained, they're heroic. Many of them are traumatised by what they're seeing. I've been told uh, it's uh, like being in a theatre of, uh, of war. Well, I would have declared a major incident if I wasn't concerned. It's unusual for a mayor to declare a major incident across a city, but this is a pan-London crisis. What's unprecedented is the duration of this crisis. Uh, Grenfell Tower was awful. Uh, terrorist attacks in previous uh, years have been awful, but they've been relatively short incidents compared to this awful pandemic. And what I think we're seeing is a combination of these uh, additional pressures placed on every single part of uh, our society in London, whether it's hospitals, whether it's the ambulance service, whether it's the fire service, the police service, care homes, or those who would normally be going to work and be con contributing to our economy. It's really important we all understand this is serious. It's the most serious it's been. And unless we reduce the virus spreading, the NHS will run out of beds.